Hello and welcome to my video. If you've been with me for a while, uh, then you'll know kind of the way that these uh, things go. So I'm going to sort of talk a little bit about sketchbooks today and a little bit about the uh, approaches I've been taking. But before I do that, uh, if you are and have been with me for a while, then welcome back. But if you aren't and you're new to it, then please do like and subscribe uh, and make comments and so on. That really helps me. And uh, I produce videos very often. So if you are subscribed, then as long as you have notifications, on then you'll know when I uh, release a video. So as I mentioned what I'm going to do today is to talk about my sketchbooks but not just sketchbooks in general. Um, if you uh, have been following me for a while you'll know that I've been doing this whole body of work uh, about the local landscape so that includes the moors, it includes the woodland and it includes the valleys in between. Uh, and I'm producing a work not only for ongoing sale, but also I'm producing a body of work for an exhibition early next spring in 2022 called Landscape Inside Out. And a lot of the work uh, is developed for uh, that exhibition. Uh, and I said I was, you know, looking at all these different landscapes. So what I kind of did at the beginning of when I was starting this work was to say, well, you know, how can I split this up into a manageable kind of topics, really, or sort of mini subject areas. So I have six. And so I do a lot of work on location, and that includes a lot of different explorative studies uh, working on paper. Uh, and they have, they, there are different types of study that I do. But one particular um, thing that I have been doing for each of the six uh, groups of work is to develop a, a small mini pocket Constantina sketchbook and the reason I'm talking about it today is that I'm about to uh, prepare my last, the sixth uh, sketchbook, which is going to be about the autumn woodland. So for these six sketchbooks, four of them have been done in a way where I pre-prepare them. And that's what I'm going to do with this one, uh, with a background of, co of collage, because I'm a, uh, a real I have a real interest and fascination with collage and how that can shake uh, things up and help you become more abstract. So um, four of these six are uh, 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 collage, and two of them have been done with just general mark making and using different uh, marks. So I thought I'd just, I have produced quite a few videos um, of these different uh, sketchbooks. But I just thought as a way of introduction really, especially if you're new, um, I'd just show you there's, and I'm not gonna open them all out because it will take me the whole video to do that. And I probably will, when I have all six done, I will do a walkthrough of all six sketchbooks and they are gonna be part of the exhibition. But just for now, so that you get a bit of a context, this uh, one is all about the Edgelands. Uh, and I showed the development of this in detail so I produced a video that showed the background being done. I showed a video of me working on location over it. And then I did a walkthrough of the final one. So just to mention that, that's my Edgelands one. So that's the, that's the first uh, Constantine that I did with collage. The next one was Spring O Woods. And so uh, this one is all limey greens and the blues of the lovely sky. And this one was done in the same way uh, with the background and then worked over on location. Uh, so that's the second of the collage Constantinas. And then this one is a wonderful panoramic view. And I have yet to develop the paintings for that, actually. That's the next group I'm going to be starting on. And uh, so this was done of the panoramic view. And uh, this, again, has a video associated with it. And I will put them in the notes just to remind you if you've seen them already. And also, if you're new, you'll be able to go straight to them. So those are the three uh, of the six that I've done that are collage so far. And then this one is going to be all about the autumn woods. And so I'm going to pre-prepare that. And uh, I will show you probably just a quick video showing me showing you how I, I do that. Uh, and behind me, I've just put up on the wall some of the studies I did last autumn, now on location, and actually some in the studio as well, because I started doing my autumn work last autumn. Uh, and this is just this background is really just uh, inspiration for me as I do as I pre prepare uh, my Constantina. And uh, the thing is, you know, people talk about, you know, chasing rainbows. I've got into the system over the last year and a half of chasing seasons. So on the wall that you can't see, but I have talked about it previously, are all the Heather Moore's uh, works and paintings that I'm just completing and, and working on at the moment. And I have that on another wall, those visuals on another wall. 
So now I've just swapped this wall so that it can give me a bit of inspiration and get me in the autumn mood. And I can look out the window, so that's quite fortunate as well, um, so that I can pre-prepare uh, my, my Constantina. Anyway, I'll get going with it. So I thought I'd just walk you through the uh, finished pre-prepared sketchbook that is ready for me to work over out on location in the autumn woodland. And uh, I'll take you through page by page. So that's the very start. And you can see how the inks have done nice things. I've used coloured inks this time as well as black inks. Uh, that's created a nice effect. And I've just used orange and yellow as in autumn kind of colours really. Um, that's the gesso and you can see how the ink has sort of seeped into it. And of course, these are very busy pages already and I've not started working over them yet. But what I will be doing is I will be actually knocking back and using white paint and light paint to cover over areas. So it won't just get busier and busier. I will simplify um, and edit as I have done before. And there's some really nice sort of patterns and effects with the text and the stenciling and so on already appearing before I've even been out into the woodland. And that sort of serendipity is the nice thing that happens with these uh, types of sketchbooks, really. And uh, you kind of have to just kind of go with it and see what happens and cover things over that aren't working as well and make more of things that are working. This is the stenciling again. And it's interesting because I was actually being videoed uh, as part of the exhibition I'm uh, going to be uh, 
uh, showing at in uh, March next year, which is at Gallery Oldham, uh, we are having a video developed showing the approaches we take and the uh, process, uh, as well as the finished works. And um, I was being videoed doing this as I was preparing, so I was being double videoed. <laughs> So this is the penultimate. This is interesting because this is where the, you know, the, the um, quink ink comes into its own. You know, it separates out into these beautiful colours. So that's really nice. And then that's where the gesso is. And then that's the, the last page. But one thing I wanted to say, a tip that I've learned today is don't do as I've done today. And what I did was it was still quite damp. I got a bit overly enthusiastic because um, the joins, as usual, were starting to break. So I sellotaped them, as you'll have seen. Um, but the issue was that I then started using the hairdryer again and drying. And what that meant was that the kind of the glue in the very sticky sellotape did something. And so it, it was peeling off. And then this book actually stuck to the sheet underneath. So be careful. So make sure you're whole constantina is dry and then do the sellotaping right at the end not as i uh, have done today anyway hopefully you can get a good feel for what this sketchbook is like before i work over it um and uh i just wanted to say thanks very much for watching and uh, please do like and subscribe if you're not already and uh if you are interested in my newsletter i don't produce them uh every five minutes but if you want to keep in touch and uh, be aware when I release new works and be the first to see it um, and also hear about my exhibitions and shows, then please do subscribe to my newsletter and I'll put a link into uh, the uh, information on this, in, into the details of this video. Uh, and uh, also I'll put the links to previous Constantinas that I've shared with you. Okay, thanks very much and see you next time. Bye bye.